welcome to this part of the Innovating Practices for Engaging STEM teaching course. My name is Mathilde Bargoin and I work as Science Education Activities Officer for European Schoolnet. I've been working on the Ingenious project for the past three years and today I will help you use practices in the classroom to better engage your pupils. Ingenious have some practices for you suggested by industry and you can fill in questionnaires to in evaluate the impact on the engagement of your pupils in the classroom. You can find hundreds of practices in the database, amongst which many will come from industry and others from motivated teachers who wanted to share theirs. Today, we will have a look at different practices um, that will engage your teaching. The first one will be scratch programming, then Experimania 1 and 2, school football, and then finally sensor adventure. Scratch programming is aimed at pupils from all ages and will give them a good understanding of programming as well as using their creative and logical minds. So here you can see a standard scratch uh, that you will have whenever you will create a new file. You will be able to change all of the components of this file. This character is called a sprite that you can change by clicking on this icon, importing some or create your own. In the script, you will write the code for the sprite to do something. Different functions are organized in 10 sections. Motion, which will make your sprite move. Looks, which will change the visual aspects on the screen. Sounds to be added. Pen color or shade if you're using one. Data, when you need to create a variable. Events, so that the sprite reacts to the programmer's input. Control, so that the sprite repeat your functions, sensing so that the sprite reacts to the environment, operators to play with values, and you can even make your own blocks. So let's look at an example of code that I've made for you. Uh, so if you take the example of sprite 2, we see that it has two costumes, meaning that when we will change from one costume to the next, we will have the impression that he's walking, and we have a corresponding script um, which tells us this. It tells that when the flag is clicked, Sprite 2 will move 20 steps forwards during half a second and then change costume. Uh, that means he's walking. And we don't want him to disappear, so we make him bounce if on the edge. We can repeat this action forever um, so that he doesn't only take one step but keeps walking without us having to click on the flag uh, ever and ever again. If we double click on the code, that gives you a preview of this part of the code. And then we can use this red button to stop it. So now let's look at Sprite 3. Uh, it's a bat and uh, we want to make it fly around randomly. To do that, we use this code um, which, which says that when the flag is clicked, the position of the bat on the X and Y axis will vary randomly, as well as the direction in which the bat is going. Then the bat changes costume to have the impression that it's flying. And uh, for it not to fly too quickly, we make it wait a tenth of a second after changing costume. It will also bounce when being on the edge. Before seeing the second part of the code, let's make it fly to see what happens. Voila. And for the second part of the code, I have set up a variable called score. We see here that whenever we click on the flag, the score will be reset to 500. And this code says that if the bat touches Pride 2, so the boy, it will say touched during one second and take the existing score and remove 50. Let's see. Here was an example of what you can do with Scratch, and you can of course go further by controlling the movement of the boy with keyboard arrows, for example, but the best is to let your pupils make their own games, and I hope your whole class will have fun with this practice. So the next practice that you will learn about is Experimania 1. Let me show you how to get to this practice directly from the Ingenious website. So here we are. We click on Practices and Practice Gallery, and then we can use the keyword Experimania to find it in the gallery more easily. Uh, 
Here you have plenty of information about the practice general information and detailed information. And when we follow the link on how to get involved, uh, we arrive on the materials section of the Experimania website. Experimania 1 was developed to give primary and secondary school students a better understanding of different materials behavior in various chemistry and physics experiments. For each experiment, you have an introduction and materials to be downloaded to reach the pedagogical guidelines. In the key documents, you can download the guidelines and access leading questions which will help your students' investigations. The different experiments are on various topics. You have watch it crash, which is about weight, forces, and resistance of materials. Watch it bounce, uh, it's about forces and different properties depending on the material. Watch the difference will show you different chemical reactions depending on the materials. And then we have watch it flow, which is about electrical resistance of various materials. Uh, watch the data will help students understand the light modulating properties of liquid crystal display. In Watch It Launch, pupils will create a rocket and understand the science behind it. This experiment can be carried out in upper secondary school. See the sound is about the vibrations of the sound and uh, also has a, an older target audience. Uh, watch the electricity is about creating and understanding static electricity. Taste the difference will have pupils investigating on the different states of water and other materials. And finally, feel the difference is about heat conductivity through different materials. Experimania 1 used to be a competition using those experiments to create lesson plans. So don't hesitate to go and have a look at some of the 191 entries to get inspiration for your next science class. Browse through them and you will have plenty of examples of lesson plans.